Tourism in India is important for the country's economy and is growing rapidly. The World Travel and Tourism Council calculated that tourism generated 15.24 lakh rupees crore, 210 billion dollars, or 9.4% of India. SGDP in 2017 and supported 41.622 million jobs, 8% of its total employment. The sector is predicted to grow at an annual rate of 6.9% to 32.05 lakh rupees crore, 450 billion dollars by 2028, 9.9% .9 of GDP. In October 2015, India S medical tourism sector was estimated to be worth $3 billion, and it is projected to grow to $7–8 billion by 2020. In 2014, 184,298 foreign patients traveled to India to seek medical treatment, over 10 million foreign tourists arrived in India in 2017 compared to 8.89 .8 million in 2016, representing a growth of 15.6%. Domestic tourist visits to all states and union territories numbered 1,036.35 million in 2012, an increase of 16.5% from 2011. In 2014, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh were the most popular states for tourists. Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Agra and Jaipur were the five most visited cities of India by foreign tourists during the year 2015. Worldwide, Delhi is ranked 28th by the number of foreign tourist arrivals, while Mumbai is ranked 30th, Chennai 43rd, Agra 45th, Jaipur 52nd, and Kolkata 90th. The Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report for the year 2017 ranked India 40th out of 136 countries overall. The report ranks the price competitiveness of India's tourism sector 10th out of 136 countries. It mentions that India has quite good air transport, ranked 32nd, particularly given the country's stage of development, and reasonable ground transport infrastructure, ranked 29th. The country also scores high on natural and cultural resources, ranked 9th. However, some other aspects of its tourism infrastructure remain somewhat underdeveloped. The nation has very few hotel rooms per capita by international comparison and low ATM penetration. The World Tourism Organization reported that India's receipts from tourism during 2012 ranked 16th in the world, and 7th among Asian and Pacific countries. The Ministry of Tourism designs national policies for the development and promotion of tourism. In the process, the ministry consults and collaborates with other stakeholders in the sector including various central ministries, agencies, state governments, union territories and private sector representatives. Concerted efforts are being made to promote niche tourism products such as rural, cruise, medical and eco-tourism. The Ministry of Tourism maintains the Incredible India campaign focused on promoting the tourism in India. Visa Policy of India India requires citizens of most countries to hold a valid passport and apply for a travel visa at their local Indian embassy or consulate, before their visit. Travelers can apply directly by mail or in person, or through their local travel services company. India has recently implemented an online method for citizens of 40 countries to apply for an e-tourist visa. Nationals of Bhutan, Maldives and Nepal do not require a travel visa to enter India. Citizens of Afghanistan, Argentina, Bangladesh, DPR Korea, Jamaica, Maldives, Mauritius, Mongolia, Nepal, South Africa and Uruguay are not required to pay a fee when obtaining an Indian visa. A protected area permit PAP, is required to enter the states of Nagaland and Sikkim and some parts of the states of Arunachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Manipur, Mizoram, Rajasthan and Uttaranchal. A restricted area permit RAP, is required to enter the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and parts of Sikkim. Special permits are needed to visit the Lakshadweep Islands. E-tourist visa As a measure to boost tourism, the Indian government implemented a new visa policy in November 2014, allowing tourists and business visitors to obtain a visa on arrival 
at 16 designated international airports, by acquiring an electronic travel authorization ETA, online before arrival, without having to visit an Indian consulate or visa center. In April 2015, the Visa on Arrival scheme was renamed E-Tourist Visa or ETV. To avoid confusion, the e-tourist visa facility requires a tourist to apply online on a secure Government of India website, at least 4 to 30 days before the date of travel. If approved, the visitor must print and carry the approved visa with their travel documents. The visa allows holders of an ETA to enter and stay anywhere in India for a period of 30 days. An ETA can be obtained twice in a single calendar year. India first introduced its visa on arrival. Facility on 27 November 2014, to citizens of the following countries, Australia, Brazil, Cambodia, Cook Islands, Djibouti, Fiji, Finland, Germany, Indonesia, Israel, Japan, Jordan, Kenya, Kiribati, Laos, Luxembourg, Marshall Islands, Mauritius, Mexico, Micronesia, Myanmar, Nauru, New Zealand, Niue, Norway, Oman, Palau, Palestine, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Russia, Samoa, Singapore, Solomon Islands, South Korea, Thailand, Tonga, Tuvalu, UAE, Ukraine, USA, Vanuatu and Vietnam. On 30 July 2015, the facility was extended to China, Macau and Hong Kong. On 15 August 2015, the facility was further extended to citizens of Andorra, Argentina, Armenia, Aruba, Belgium, Bolivia, Colombia, Cuba, East Timor, Guatemala, Hungary, Ireland, Jamaica, Malta, Malaysia, Mongolia, Monaco, Mozambique, the Netherlands, Panama, Peru, Poland, Portugal, Seychelles, Slovenia, Spain, Sri Lanka, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Suriname, Sweden, Taiwan, Tanzania, Turks and Caicos Islands, the United Kingdom, Uruguay and Venezuela. The facility should eventually be expanded to about 180 countries. As a result of the new visa policy, 56,477 tourists arrived on an e-tourist visa during October 2015, compared with 2,705 tourist arrivals during October 2014, just before the facility was introduced, representing a 1,987.9% increase. During the period from January to October 2015, a total of 258,182 tourists arrived on an e-tourist visa, a 1,073.8% increase on the 21,995 tourist arrivals during the same period in 2014, before the e-tourist visa was available. Statistics Foreign tourist arrivals and foreign exchange earnings Foreign tourist arrivals by source country Foreign and domestic tourist visits by state World Heritage Sites there are 37 World Heritage Sites in India that are recognized by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, as of August 2017. These are places of importance of cultural or natural heritage as described in the UNESCO World Heritage Convention, established in 1972. Gallery Outline of Tourism in India See also Economy of India Aviation in India References Further reading Gupta, S. P., and Krishna Lal, 1974. Tourism, Museums, and Monuments in India. Delhi, Oriental Publishers. External links Tourism Helpline Telangana Tourism, Government of India India Travel and Tourism at Curlie Ministry of Tourism, India Visa on Arrival, Government of India Bradnock, Roma 2004. 
Footprint India Footprint Travel Guides, Bath, UK. ISBN 1-904777-00-7. Debrine, Pippa, Bain, Keith, Venkatraman, Nilufar, 2010. Fromers India. India in one, two or three weeks. The New York Times, 23 March 2012.